step into the light. There is much you need to know. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge. But it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done, and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. Blessed Index Cards, you made it! This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again. If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, sir. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern.
The more you, you spend, spend the better food. goods I could anywhere just else. You were successful then. Bloody marvelous. You'll be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Come with me. <laughs> hey! Yeah! One of the mercenaries. A cold blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. <laughs> You've acquired a new suit. I would say it's the best mercenary uniform that money can buy. Which is a bit ironic, really. 